This is an intro to a video that I didn't ever really think I would make and a title of a vlog that some of you may have seen coming and that some of you may be really surprised about and that some of you may simply just not care about because it is actually not that deep but at the same time it does feel sort of like a, a moment for me like I've kind of put this off so if you haven't gathered from the title and the channel that you have clicked on to watch this i have changed my youtube name what i like at current haven't <laughs> like currently it's tuesday good morning hello by the way welcome to a weekly vlog wow we just jumped straight in with the wow uh, without without introducing it it's tuesday at current haven't changed my youtube name but the plans are in place so that by the time this vlog goes live i will have done and this will be the first video so it only feels right to address it right at the very beginning i don't really know how i feel about this just yet but i feel like this is a move that i've kind of toyed with for the last year and it feels like the right time to do it for me to be honest so my channel has been called beauty spectrum since i started it i've never changed its name during 2014 when i made the channel everybody sort of had youtube names that were very like beauty orientated or like pastel or floral or you know like everybody had a channel name that was a little bit like that. I'm sure the, the main example that's coming to mind for me is when Anastasia had her channel called Floral Princess. It was just like the, the thing at the time. Hence Beauty Spectrum and it worked. I, I predominantly started out doing beauty videos. Not that I was very good at it. Um, and then I kind of shifted my content, never really went back to beauty. So having beauty in the title of my channel just hasn't made sense for like years, to be honest. The reason I haven't changed it is because I always sort of liked the idea of it being like, separate to me like my channel and my online persona yes that is me but also it's still like kind of a separate brand that's just not a thing do you know what i mean like i feel as though it's not that deep change my channel to my name i have two reasons why it wasn't my name to start off with the first was i didn't want people at school to find it i was so nervous that people from my high school would find my youtube channel that i didn't want to call it molly thompson and secondly my name is not very exciting it's just quite it's quite a bog standard name. It's not that I don't like it. I, I like the name Molly. You know, it doesn't it doesn't stand out. However, I feel as though now I've built up enough of like a core audience that you guys know that's my name anyway, so it's it's not that deep. And anybody that joins me from this point onwards won't know any difference. So I'm not gonna waffle too much more. I hope that you're as excited as I am. You guys know that I plan on traveling a lot this year, so it felt kind of like the right time to make that jump because it makes no sense being a travel vlogger, having a name that is beauty based you know you know what i mean you know what i'm saying so yeah i've changed my handle across all platforms hopefully by now i think the current plan is that everything should change at the same time on friday evening obviously there may be a hiccup with that the only platform i'm not too sure on right now is tiktok i don't know if, if that might take me a little bit longer but i'll put both apps on the screen obviously if you already followed me you will still be following me the account is not a new account but but if you don't follow me they're my new apps it feels like a big jump it feels like a change but i am ready for it i'm excited for it and i'm excited for the content this year to shift slightly as well with the with the name change and the, the cheeky little rebrand if you clicked on this vlog and you're thinking i don't really care about that molly i'm not gonna lie it doesn't affect my day-to-day -day life which is 99 percent of you i'm sure but please today we're gonna move on now this is gonna be a regular weekly vlog but i did want to address it you know how i love a touch of drama a little bit of spice that was a good time that was a good chapter this is the same book but a different chapter it is still daylight at 4... Oh, I thought it was 4.30. It's 4pm. But it's still daylight at 4pm. Like, that is a noticeable difference because I feel like in December it's dark by like 3pm. I am going to pick Tom up from work. He's gone into the office the last couple of days because like, basically, long story short, Tom started a new job ages ago, but predominantly it's been working from home, but there's been a couple of bits he needs to do in the office this week. However, um, if you watched my roulette video tom's car has basically been broken for like a month on and off um it was working the other day took it to the garage he thought he got it fixed he hadn't it's had to go back to the garage um so he currently doesn't have a car so i told him that i'd pick him up from work i'm gonna drive to hull now it's freezing cold actually and i'm gonna listen to a podcast in the car i think so i'm really enjoying the shameless podcast that i spoke about last week i'm also so painfully aware of how badly i need a haircut it's bad it's so bad i think this is probably the worst my hair's ever been in terms of like how split it is i'm going next week i don't think i've ever been more excited i'm getting it colored i'm getting it cut i think i might get not quite a lot off but like all of the dead ends so i feel like it's going to be quite a bit actually probably like anyway let's go hope i've got enough fuel to get there i'm the worst at driving on like fuel light because i'm like oh it won't run out to be fair, it never has. Right, let's actually go because I've waffled for ages. I picked the camera up to say that we are on to 
the final Spider-Man films, plural. Not the last one, but the final Spider-Man. What's it called? Tom Holland. What's the film called? Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh, you actually knew that. Okay. Yeah, and the next fair, one fair, is fair. the next one is Far From Home. Yeah. And the last one is No Way Home. Yep. I know. Okay, fair, fair. We're right. on to the first Tom Holland Spider-Man film, and I didn't realise how young he looked in it. Like, he looks like a kid, which I know he's supposed to be, but he looks really young. So far, I know we're only like half an hour into it, but mm -hmm. who's your favourite Spider-Man? Do you think he's the best? No, I think Andrew Garfield. Yeah, but you just fancy Andrew Garfield. No, it's not that. Do you know what I genuinely don't like about this film so far? It's too Avengers heavy. Like, all of the other Spider-Man films have felt like standalone movies. Like, you could almost watch them with no knowledge of, like, any comic books, any other characters. Like, it's just Spider-Man no, against the that's world. No, that's still the case with this. It feels, like, too confused. There's too many characters in this film. There's just Iron Man in it. And a load of random other people. No, nobody else. Anyway, just thought I'd say hello. It's Tuesday night. We're watching the first Tom Holland Spider-Man. Uh, how was your day at work? The last thing I found out I was going to pick you up. Yeah, no, it's good. Um, meetings. Meeting. Meeting, not plural, just a meeting. It's so weird to think yeah. that you like are a professional sometimes. Professional. Sometimes, only sometimes. Yeah, only sometimes. I yeah. mean, you do a creative job, it's not but, like. Yeah, no, good day. It was uh, enjoyable, actually. Good, I'm glad. Also, guys, how nice does Molly's hair look? Oh my god, are you, are you oh, actually nice. joking me? No, it's very nice. Do you know how badly I need a haircut right now? It very doesn't look nice. nice at all. Looks it nice. looks so split, but that was really kind. Good afternoon, it's Wednesday. We packaged up all of the rest of the Depop parcels this morning, so we are taking them to the post office. I've sold probably the most I've ever sold on Depop last week, so we've had to do it in like two runs and then do one each, haven't we? So that we don't annoy the staff at the post office. All of them will have been sent out after today, and then we've just got a couple of other errands to run. Uh, I'm driving in my docks for the first time. Actually, it's the second time, I tell a lie. Yeah, it was fine the other day. It's so, like, I'm just not used to such clunky boots. Like, I can't feel the pedals properly, which is probably not, <laughs> not very safe. Also, if you recognise the jumper mum's wearing, <laughs> whose jumper is that? It was yours, you put it on your Depop pile, so I took it off. <laughs> yeah. Everything you see on Depop has been about half because mum takes half of it before I get to sell it. She's like, oh, I'll have that instead. But then I do it. play something out of my cupboard into a charity. Yeah, it's like a one in, one out. Pick a, pick a Taylor Swift album, mum. Pick an album. But we were listening to one the other day. Just carry on with that one. Which one was that? Lover. Lover. Which is your favourite Taylor Swift album? It's the only one of them. <laughs> it's a rogue choice. I'm going with Reputation. You know the song, yeah? All right, let's go. We went to the post office. Everything was pretty successful. We've come to m and now. We've just popped in. It's literally empty. I came in here this time last week and it was so busy. So I'm picking up something veggie for tea. Every now and then, um, when like they wouldn't have a veggie meal, I have like just a quick and easy veggie meal. I spoke about this last week. And then we're going to pick up something from their vegan section again because they have really good options. Oh, and maybe some smoothies, good idea. Their smoothie selection in here is really good. I might get like a smaller one, one that I can just have now. Pressed pineapple, watermelon and aloe vera. Last week I got this one. Anything that says immune support now, I'm like, oh, that's a good idea. But I didn't love it. It was kind of lumpy. Oh, was that? Yeah, it's like really, really thick. And I'm sorry. Really yeah, of course. That's okay, thank you. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Guys, look at this selection of vegan ready meals. Like, this is what I mean. This is really good. The selection is great. And I think they've got even more because of, like, Veganuary. Don't know what I want. Don't know what I want. Guys, little food update. Here is the meal that we got in M&S. My mum's got one as well. Which is yours? Is that, like... Chicken and bacon pasta. Chicken and bacon. It looks a little bit like a carbonara yeah. kind of vibe. But mine is sweet potato katsu curry with, like, lentils and veg. And I'm actually very excited mm. about this. Looks great. Smells great. Also looks very hot. <laughs> We're at Tom's house. I never film in your room. No, you don't. Literally don't never. Yeah, his room has such ambient lighting. Yeah, uh, we're watching Spider-Man Far From Home, which is the last available Spider-Man that we can watch, isn't it? But obviously we have already seen No Way Home. We saw it in the cinema. It was actually the first one that I saw, so I've watched them all in the weirdest of orders. Uh, but this one, who's the villain? Your favourite person, Jake Gyllenhaal. Do you bet? Mm. Yeah, no, Jake Gyllenhaal is Mysterio in this 
Spider-Man film, which is like the villain, and I'm not his biggest fan. I think it's fair to say that probably no Taylor Swift fan is his biggest fan. However, I don't discredit that he's a good actor. Like, he is a good actor. Wow, um, that's the most positive thing you've ever no, seen. No, 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 no. I'm not taking away from his profession. I just don't like him as a person. But um, this film is better than the last one so far. I didn't love the first Tom Holland film. I thought it was a bit too... Avengers heavy, like it was very clunky alongside all of the others. Maybe at some point we should watch the Avengers. Anyway, I have convinced Tom that after we've watched all of these You're films. Watching Pretty Little Lies, is it? No, <laughs> Gossip Girl. Oh, Gossip all Girl. six seasons of Gossip Girl. I'm gonna go home now, but I thought I'd update you on our Spider Man sagas. Uh, hello guys, I forgot to intro this vlog before I filmed the clip. Basically, I ended up getting stuck in traffic on the way to Leeds. I thought, I'll be able to film an intro when I get there, but it ended up being a bit of a rush, didn't it? You're looking at your hat. <laughs> anyway, I am with Gavi today, and we are basically having a little day out in Leeds and the surrounding area. Obviously, we've already had it when I was saying it, but like, yeah, it's been nice, hasn't it? It was warm earlier and now we're uh, quite cold. It's really cold now though, I think it's because the sun's gone down. We're actually in Mount Hay Park at the moment. It's been a really lovely day, the weather's been great. Basically, to start with, you're going to see us going for breakfast. So, Bill's really kindly invited me to try their new vegan breakfast options, including their new scrambled eggs. Spoke a bit about this on my Instagram, but that was really, really good. We had a really lovely brunch. You had the pancake. Out of 10, what would you give them? Eight. Yeah, I feel like they're a solid eight or nine from Bill's, to be fair. Huge thank you to the team at Bill's in Leeds for inviting me. Without further ado, I'm just gonna get into the day. Anyway, yeah, thank you for being in the vlog and for coming to Bills with me. Thank you for bringing me to Bills. <laughs> Guys, the sun is behind me, so it doesn't make for the best lighting. But I am with Gabby. We are in Round Hay Park and in Matching Hats, yeah. Um, we're basically Round Hay is just outside of Leeds. Never actually been here before. I tried to come once for Bonfire Night, but we ended up going to Hyde Park instead. Um, so I've never been. <laughs> niche. Oh my god, right. Also, in fact, I'm going to address this. The reason I say niche all the time, and some of you have commented on it being like, Molly, not everything is niche, is because Gabby uses that word. And Katie. And Katie, yeah. And probably Jenny as well, to be fair. Her as well. So we all use it as if it's like the correct word in that in that it's context. Oh, it's unsure. Unsure? That was a Jenny, yeah, that was that was a Jenny. Jenny phrase. So yeah, I do know that not everything is niche, but also it's just our word of the moment. But yeah, we're in Round Hay Park. It is a beautiful day. Really sunny, really clear, really crisp. I've driven here. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. I mean, it's only really clear, really crisp. I feel like it's a picture of like New York. Could be Central Park. Could be Central. Oh, don't know. Pushing it a bit. A bit muddy. Me white Converse. Sorry. I'm wearing Converse. Do you want to see the view? That's a vlog. You're not getting a choice. Here it is. Um, the lake is way bigger than I thought it was. Like I said, I've never been here before. He's doing ASMR for you guys. <laughs> we can't just do a walk around the park. It has to be somewhat weird. We haven't even managed to walk around the park yet. Guys, I've been doing workouts this week, specifically leg workouts, and I'm not even joking. I cannot so walk. Doing? Pilates. Am I saying that wrong? I said Pilates. Pilates, Pilates. Well, either way, yesterday I did a Pilates workout. Uh, you'll see it's coming in a video next week, actually. I'm, I'm really trying. I'm giving it my whole, but today I literally cannot walk. And I must have complained to Gabby about 17 times. Hey, I'm not walking too weirdly right now. <laughs> I'm just walking down the hill. Like... Also, I'm not wearing the best footwear because I've got Converse on. And um, there's no grip on the pair of Converse. And also, they're really flat. So, like, it's probably not doing my legs any good. But I should. We always go on walks and just... Well, watch. I know. Oh my god! Every single time I go on a walk, I think I don't look like I've ever gone on a walk. To be fair, can you remember what our air forces look like on New Year's Eve? Yeah, to be fair, mine still look like that. I haven't cleaned them. I can't lie. Oh. clearly as you can see i wanted to do a little book haul before i end this vlog i feel like it's maybe quite a long video i'm actually not too sure but when i was in leeds earlier i did pop into the waterstone that is in leeds um, and i picked up two books based off jack edwards jack edwards is i don't know what the plural of edwards is so irrelevant anyway he uploaded a video last night where he talked through his 12 top reads of 2021 and i thought i kind of want to buy some more books and i don't know why i've done this because i have not finished reading the other books that i just got but i do keep seeing those 
tweets where it's like buying books and reading books are two separate hobbies and I'm behind that because like I love going into Waterstones, looking at the books, picking one up, picking two up if it's on buy one get one half price like these were and then not reading them for about a year. So these were the two that I got off Jack's recommendations. This is The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. You've probably heard of this, I'm not gonna lie, this has been talked about for the last year i feel as though i know this story and i haven't even read the book i've seen this talked about so so much jack has hyped it up a lot but also literally everybody on instagram has read this book like yeah so when i walked into waterstones and it was first on the table in front of me i was like that is a sign that this is what i'm buying today and the second that i picked up also of jack's recommendation but again i've heard so many other people talk about this was no one is talking about this ironically this is a story heavy in what it is like to live your life online amongst other things um and the duality of having an online life and also a personal life which i feel like i relate to quite heavily doing this job so these are the two books that i picked up very very different um i don't think that this verges on non-fiction but i think this is definitely told differently to like a fiction book you can tell that again just from flicking through it um, but i think this one will be interesting because obviously i relate to it slightly more and this one is obviously just going to be an interesting story and probably quite thought provoking as well so yeah these are the books i picked up in waterstone didn't really need them but i wanted them so yeah they were my only purchase of the day so i didn't feel like i'd done too badly i've also just realized that the moana pig has been creeping in this whole clip guys this office is just an ode to the disney store like look at that <laughs> anyway as i said i am actually going to end this vlog here so thank you so much for the support on the channel name change i haven't actually done it at this time but like i have told a few people now that i'm gonna do it everybody has been lovely i haven't let you guys know yet but i'm saying thank you in advance because i'm going to presume that most of you are going to be really lovely about it and i also do want to reiterate the point that it's actually not that deep like i kept thinking of what i'm going to capture my instagram and i was going along the lines of like my first post is like molly thompson but then i thought this is so ridiculous because i've always been molly thompson like haven't changed my name it's just that i'm i'm rebranding the channel to be my name which if anything is making it more me like more personal more like i'm not hiding behind a different username not that i ever was but like you know this is just me this is just us guys you know how it is you know how it be i've waffled I subscribe if you are new to my channel thank you so much for your support this week as always i have just posted a brand new giveaway to instagram last night so if you do want to check that out that will be linked in the description too and you could win either a 50 pound zara voucher or a 50 pound urban outfitters voucher so if that sounds like something you're interested in super easy free to enter on my insta right now and i shall see you guys on tuesday with a brand new video bye guys moana pig says goodbye what is this called i would just call it moana pig does it have a name it's the pig from moana